It had been a quiet day. Katie discovered that typing on Mom's computer makes a nice clicking noise. Orby found out that when papers get out of order, they're hard to straighten out. And they both discovered that helping Mom with her office work was a lot of fun. Mom got a call around mid-morning and found out that she had to finish her office work quickly. She asked Katie and Orby to find something fun to do while she worked. Katie and Orby sat on the couch and looked out of the living room window. Going to the park would be fun, or be tootled. But Katie reminded him that they couldn't go there without Mom. Maybe they could go to the library. But no, no they needed Mom for that too. Just when it was starting to look like a boring day, a taxi drove up to the front of the house. It was great Uncle David. He was wearing a long gray coat and had two boxes under his arms. Katie and Orby flung open the door and surrounded him in a hug. Great Uncle David laughed and gave both of them a kiss. And when Mom came out to see what was happening, he explained that he had a free day, so he thought it would be fun to introduce his two friends to roller skating. I don't have to tell you that both friends thought this was the greatest idea. And to tell you the truth, so did Mom. Katie and Orby opened up the two big boxes. In each one, there was a pair of roller skates, a helmet, and some protection pads. Orby tooted and did a flip to show Great Uncle David how happy he was. The pads went on the elbows, the wrists, and the knees. Mom helped put them on the two friends. Orby wanted to put the roller skates on, too, but Great Uncle David told him that first they would go to the park. Roller skating wasn't as easy as it looked. They needed room to practice. So three happy people walked down the sidewalk, and Mom closed the door and raced back to work. At the park, Great Uncle David helped both Katie and Orby fasten their skates. He showed them the brake on the heel that helped them slow down when they needed to. He told them that at first they would try skating one friend at a time until someone got the hang of it. Of course, Orby wanted to go first, and Katie was just as happy to wait. She wasn't too sure how to work the roller skates. Orby carefully got off the bench and stood up. So far, roller skating was a cinch. Until he noticed that even though he was standing still, the trees and the bench were moving away from him. Great Uncle David reached out and grabbed Orby. He chuckled and told him he was going the wrong way. Orby tried to go forward, and he pushed off from his skates like ice skating. But all they did was flip up, and he almost fell forward. Great Uncle David told him that it takes a little time to get used to them. Orby couldn't agree more. Next, it was Katie's turn. Great Uncle David held Katie's hands and pulled her along. He told her to keep her feet straight and try to keep her legs together. Katie did a very good job. When Orby saw what Katie was doing, he wanted to try it too. So Great Uncle David gave him a turn. Both of them were fine as long as they held on. It was then and there that Great Uncle David had a terrific idea. He asked Katie and Orby to hold on to his long coat and he would walk. If they kept their feet together and straight, he could take them for a ride, and they could learn to balance. Both friends grabbed the side of his coat and held on tight. Katie was a little wobbly until Great Uncle David started to walk. Great Uncle David walked over the paths all through the park. There was plenty of whooping and hollering going on behind him, <laughs> and great bursts of laughter. Great Uncle David couldn't help laughing himself. When they passed the climber, Arthur jumped down and ran beside them for a while. Yi Ping was on her trike and she rode with them for a while too, waving and ringing her bicycle bell. When they finally finished going around the whole playground, Great Uncle David asked if they were ready for a rest. 
Katie's feet felt a bit wobbly, so she was ready to sit down, but Orby, he wanted more. Great Uncle David asked him to try it on his own, now that he understood the balance part. Orby did. He rolled one step, then another, and then another. Katie clapped and whooped for Orby. He was doing a great job. Then Orby came to the tiniest little slope in the walkway. And all of a sudden, he started to go faster and faster. Great Uncle David shouted at him to try the brake, and Orby did try, but I have to tell you that he just kept going. Great Uncle David started to run after Orby. When Arthur heard Orby honking for help, he ran after him, too. It looked like Orby might go right out under the street, and Great Uncle David was very upset. He ran as fast as he could, but Orby was rolling faster. And just then, Tom came along the street on his bike. He heard all the shouting, and he saw Orby racing toward the street. Tom jumped off his bike and ran toward Orby. He caught him in his arms, and although the roller skate wheels kept rolling, Orby stopped. Great Uncle David puffed up behind Tom and, and thanked him. He told Orby how sorry he was that he hadn't realized what could happen. Orby turned to him and beamed. That was possibly the best adventure of his life. And he, he, he wanted to try it again. Tom told him that no adventure was good near a road. They all walked back to Katie, who was clapping for Tom for saving the day. Tom parked his bike and helped Katie and Orby escape between himself and Great Uncle David. When they finally got it right, they hurried home to show Mom. Mom was delighted. They told her about rolling behind Great Uncle David and Mom wanted to see. When they showed her, she took pictures. They were going pretty fast and Mom was glad that they had had fun and learned to roller skate, but mostly she was glad that they were being safe. And if you ever roller skate, you need to remember to be safe too because I just happen to know that somebody is crazy about you. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? There are different things that you can do with macaroni. You can paint it and use it in a picture, put it on a string and make it into a necklace, or put some in a jar and make a musical instrument. But one of the best things to do with macaroni is eat it.